Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Art Whisperer 88. You could consider this episode as a maintenance episode. What I have here is a tub of soapy water. This is like a few drops of dish detergent. And here is my plate with some residue. Uh, these are the bits of paint that were not picked up by the uh, prints. And I already did two uh, retrieval prints. And the chances of these transferring are very slim. So I decided to clean them off. And I'm just showing you how I clean off the residue paint. Uh, it can be quite stubborn because that is the nature of acrylic paint. So I'm just slowly rubbing in, in a circular motion. Um, I'm not using anything abrasive. This is a microfiber cloth which is very soft. And as I'm rubbing, I'm also pressing down on the plate. And since the plate is flexible, the stretching and pulling kind of loosens up it loosens up the uh, paint that is stuck on the surface. Okay, so it's coming right off. It takes a little bit of elbow grease, but it does the job. And it doesn't hurt the plate because this is a mild dish detergent and there's not a lot of it it's just like I'd say a tablespoon maybe not even okay and I just have to work in sections now like with any other method, this is not 100%, but uh, I feel that it's the least destructive. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to use uh, caustic chemicals um, because it may react with the composition of the gel plate. I know the gel plate contains oil, that's for sure, because sometimes when I store it between two sheets of paper, I see some oil stains uh, that transfer to the paper. So they're definitely uh, evidence of oil. I like to clean off the edges too because uh, as you as you roll your brayer a lot of the paint gathers on the edges and it becomes quite thick if you don't clean it off
Now, I know everyone has their own way of cleaning the plate. And I know some artists don't even bother. Um, they just leave the plate dirty. But um, for demonstration purposes, I feel that it's important to start fresh and have a clean plate. I think it's working. I got most of the residue off. And the bonus is I get to clean the table too. Okay. Okay, I've uh, completely rinsed my drag and there's still some little bits and pieces of the paint so you may need to do this two three maybe even four times and uh, this is an old bathrobe that I cut up It's very absorbent and it does a good job in drying out this plate. So now the next step after using the soapy water and the rag, I uh, using this inexpensive baby oil and just Some people use baby wipes, but I just use my hand. It's faster. And I think it's more thorough. Put a little more. Baby oil is rather inexpensive. I think it's a couple of dollars for a bottle. Okay. So you could say this is like a spa treatment for the plate. It uh, loosens the leftover little bits and pieces of paint. Okay. Now just to show you how much is left over here, some clean tissue paper. This is Kleenex. And this is what comes off. This is stuff you don't see that the baby oil takes off. It's pretty amazing how much gunk comes off. Uh, so the oil really helps in getting the stains off. And at the same time it conditions the plate. See how badly stained this is. Okay. Then I finish off again with these uh, this terry cloth. And 
plate is as good as new or as close as possible to new there so that is my short um, my short maintenance video on the plate and actually the baby oil is good for your hands so uh, anyway thank you for watching I hope this is a helpful video to help maintain your plate and keep it happy thank you for watching